Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and I am so excited for this tutorial. So today we are going to make this beautiful um, lucite flower earring, and um, ignore my hands, <laughs> they are horrendous. I have been painting these lucite flowers, and let me tell you, they have turned out so beautiful. Look at this one. I had no idea they would be this pretty. And when I got finished, I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe. So I have done a whole bunch of them. Let me show you. So these are going to be available on my website. Um, but let me just get some of them out here. So there are all different colors. Um, this one is like a purple with some yellow tints to it. They look glass because I've... Um, coated them with a um with a sealer but look how pretty they turn out I mean they're just that's the purple pair then there's the, like this green one with purple on it and they are just so pretty um I just I was having so much fun making them let's see what else is in here there's just all different ones this is a pink kind of transparent looking one they make the lucite flowers just so gorgeous. They make them um, look like glass, I think. So here's a yellow and orange pair. Um, let's see what else I've got. Blue. These are pretty. Look at these. With the purple in them. So yeah, I will have um, these available up on my website. And... Um, I've only got a few pairs because I ran out of the flowers. These flowers, they're kind of hard to find. And when you do find them, they're kind of expensive. And then, um, you know, it's it takes a while to paint them and have them glaze them and have everything get dry. And I don't know, look at these. These I thought turned out so pretty too. But they look like stained glass. They're just really pretty when you're finished. So, yeah, I'll have all these available up on my website. Um, there's tons of different colors, and I don't know how many I have here. Probably about 20 pair, maybe, um, but there's not that many. So, um, I actually am going to try to get some more of these flowers, but right now um, I'm out of them. So, they are so pretty, though. Look at these. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, and that's what the inside looks like. So anyway, I've got these big ones, and then I did not use the tiny ones today in the earrings that we're getting ready to do, but um, I used a pair similar to these, but not in the painted ones. They're just, um, they came already colored the way that they are, but, oh, I love these. Look at these. Look at the purple in there. <laughs> They're so pretty. Look at that. They just, they look like stained glass. I hope it's showing up on the camera because I don't know if it is, but they're so pretty. Um, but anyway, so then I did a bunch of little ones. So here are the little ones. There's a pair. Look, they're still not dry totally. <laughs> I'm impatient. There's a purple pair. There's kind of an aqua and greenish color. They just, they turn out so, so pretty. So I've got them all over my hands, this paint all over my hands, and I scrubbed and scrubbed and it will not come off. <laughs> so um, I tried everything. I've tried paint thinner. I've tried alcohol. I've done all kinds of stuff. Nothing's getting it off. But um, as you can see, there are a bunch of little ones and a bunch of big ones. And so, like I said, they will all be up on my website. And so here's what we're going to make today. So I will have these available on my website as well. They are the same shape as the ones that I have there, but they're just a frosted, um, see these? They're just a frosted little lucite flower, and I didn't, these aren't the ones I painted, those other ones are. So these will be available on my website as well, as well as um, some bead caps. I've got these new um, little... I don't know what these are called, like four petal bead caps. I have them in bright silver and antique gold. So they'll be available as well. And so this is what we're going to make today. And I think, I think it's just beautiful. Um, I love the way these lucite flowers turned out painted. They're so pretty. 
and um, yeah when you glaze them they just they look like glass so if you're interested in making this I will show you what you need so you're gonna need a lucite flower of some sort of course it doesn't have to be this shape it can be any lucite flower that you that you have that you like I have um, some calla lily shapes and just some other different ones so you can use anything and it doesn't have to be this big either you can use a smaller one you're gonna need bead caps like three different ones so as you can see on here I've got this bead cap and then this one facing down and this one facing up and I just think the more of those that you use the prettier it is so I've got these long ones and then a couple of smaller ones then you're going to need another smaller lucite flower and again you can use any shape I've also got these little ones that I'm gonna have up on my website um, these are like a tulip shape more than if you can see the difference there um, so I'll have those little ones up on my website and I've also got these little guys that I'm gonna have up on my website and these are way tiny ones <laughs> see them but they're so cute and you can layer these like I could have layered another one under here and it would have been really pretty one of these littler ones but so all of those will be up on the site um as well as I have a ton of pearls I got a huge um shipment of pearls in yesterday so I did get all the pearls up on the website so they're there as well um all right so you're gonna need your two little lucite flowers you're gonna need um this is a six millimeter bicone you're gonna need a random bead um I'm using this turquoise one, but it's up inside here. It keeps this dangling lower so that you can see it. So if I didn't have that bead in there, this would be up inside the flower and you wouldn't be able to see it as well. So that's what that bead is for. Um, then I've got a couple fire polish beads and I do have fire polish beads up on my website as well. Um, and a couple of rondelles here that I had to pull out some more because I used both of them on that one and you're going to need an ear wire you're going to need a couple pieces of chain I've got a seven link chain here Oops. this is seven links for the longer one and no that's not it that's too big the three link one and this seven link one so there's three links for this one seven links for that one you're going to need some head pins that you can wrap really easily um, do like the wrap loops like this you're going to need an eye pin and you're going to need a jump ring okay just one small jump ring <laughs> all right so that is everything that you need if you want to make this and so get your stuff together and we'll go ahead and get started all right so here it is um, this is what we're going to do and oh, I just I love these and there's so many different ways you can do them I've looked online and on Pinterest and stuff and they're just they're beautiful there's so many different things you can hang charms from this you can just hang chain I mean it's just they're so pretty all right so the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make our bead dangles for um, our chain so I'm going to take and the way I did this one I'm just going to mirror it I want to do a little rondelle and then a fire polish and then on the second one a fire polish then a rondelle okay so I'm gonna do the rondelle and the fire polish whoops yeah that's right I didn't mention the pliers you're gonna need all your jewelry pliers your chain nose your round nose and your cutters okay so we're just gonna make a wrap loop and you just turn that at a 90 degree angle grab your chain nose pliers right down here at the bend flip it up and over turn your pliers flip this on around so there's what you've got and I'm sorry if you can hear Chris doing his silly animal talk in the other room <sighs> he talks to the animals in this crazy crazy voice and I don't know it drives me insane but he does it every time I'm filming a video it seems like <laughs> okay and then we're gonna cut right here okay so you just cut that off and if you have any excess sticking out right there you just take your chain nose pliers and wrap it in tuck it in and here's a little trick too if you find that you're trying to tuck it in and it's spinning on you grab your round nose pliers and hold it and then you can tuck it in and it won't spin on you because I try to tuck it in and it's just like the wire just spins and spins <laughs> so there that is 
Okay, we're going to make one more. We're going to do the fire polish bead on the bottom and this bead on the top this time. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to take our pliers, bend at a 90 degree angle, take these, go up and over, rotate them, go on around and make your loop, just like that. And then you just wrap. Now you can use your pliers if you want to hold um, hold it with your round nose pliers and wrap with your chain nose pliers on this. But this wire is so thin. These head pins are so thin. They're these little ball head pins and they're like, I don't know, they're probably 26 or 24 gauge maybe. But they're super thin. So they're easy to wrap with my fingers. Okay, so let's go ahead and clip that off. My cutters are terrible. <laughs> and see if I can tuck it. See how it spins? <laughs> it's aggravating. And I'm so sorry for my hands. There's just nothing I can do. I can't get that off right now. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead and attach this to the head pin because one or the eye pin because once you get the eye pin up in here, it's hard to get your pliers up in there and put your jump ring and stuff on. <laughs> so <clears throat> the way I did this, and this is tedious right here, but I opened, I don't I didn't want to attach these dangles with a jump ring to the bottom of this chain because I just felt like that would be too much. So I do open this teeny little chain link, just like this. And I put my dangle on and I close it back. Okay, just make sure it's closed up good. So there's your one, do the same thing on this one. Open up the teeny little chain link, if you can get a hold of it. Just like that. Put your dangle on. <laughs> of course this one would give me trouble. Do I not have it open wide enough? I guess I don't. There we go. Close it back up. This is very, very fiddly, but I don't like the look of jump rings hanging on the bottom when you have little dangles like this. I just think it looks so much better if you don't have a jump ring there. Okay. All right, now we are gonna open up this jump ring. Just like this. Put these on. Apparently I'm not opening any of my rings big enough today. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on. It's never hard to do unless you're on camera. There we go. So, um... I wanted to tell you guys, Landon left here Monday to go back to West Virginia, him and Katie, and um, we always pray with him before he leaves, and he doesn't necessarily, you know, he, he's all like it's, you know, not necessary and silly and whatever, but I always make him, <laughs> always pray for him before he leaves, and so I get a call, they'd been on the road for probably... I don't know, most of the trip, probably five hours. They probably had an hour to go, or five and a half hours. They probably had an hour to go. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this, put it on, take this bead and put it on, and your big loose side flower and put it on. This is what you'll have. And so I get a call from him, and he says, Mom, <laughs> I'm okay. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, he was on the four-lane highway outside of Charleston, West Virginia, and he hydroplaned. It was raining really hard, and he said he was going four, about five miles underneath the speed limit, but he hydroplaned, lost control, spun through four lanes of traffic, and hit a retainer wall. So, totaled his car. Him and Katie were not hurt. 
and they didn't hit anyone else while spinning through four lanes of traffic at rush hour <laughs> outside of Charleston, West Virginia. So that is a miracle right there. That road is so busy and people drive so fast and so crazy on it that, I mean, it had to be the hand of God that kept him from hitting someone else or someone hitting him. And so he said that um, a semi truck pulled up beside him and blocked that lane. So the traffic, you know, would not be rushing by right beside him. And a lady in an SUV pulled up behind him and put her hazards on. So they boxed him in, like kept him safe. And uh, his car is totaled, but he's fine and Katie's fine. And I was just so thankful. I mean, I, Tuesday, yesterday, I just prayed all day long and just, you know, thanked God because it could have very, very easily been the other way. He could have been hurt very bad um, and someone else could have been involved. It's a miracle no one was. I mean, it just really is. So it's amazing. But put on your, your long bead cap like this. Then you're going to take your other bead cap and put it on the same normal direction. Now this one you're going to flip upside down. Okay, and it's going to go on just like that. Then you're going to take your bicone and put it on. And here's what you've got. Now what you want to do is you want to hold this tight when you make this loop because you don't want it to be flopping around. So make sure your beads are all pushed down. Bend your wire 90 degrees right above your bead. Don't um, don't leave any room. And then I always cut right about here, about the width of my finger. I don't know why, but that is always what works. And let me do it a little smaller because I do want this to be a tight loop. Okay. Then we're just going to take our round nose pliers. And we're going to roll the loop back. Just like that. Okay, and there you have a loop. So then you're going to take your ear wire, open the sucker up, and put your earring on. And you have got a beautiful, unique, kind of vintage look pair of earrings. So I love these. I think they turned out so, so pretty. And like I said, all of this stuff will be available on my website. I have bicones on the website, not six millimeter ones, but I have a be beautiful color that I just put up today. These, oh, they're so pretty. They're called blue or sea green iris, I think, or something like that. Green sea iris or something. But oh my goodness, aren't they gorgeous? And I put up probably eight or ten different colors of pearls. Um, and like I said, I will have these flowers up there and these flowers um, and these bead caps. So yeah, um, I love these. I think they turned out so pretty. I actually thought about doing kits, but oh, that would take me forever to put them all together. And I just thought, nope, I've got all this stuff up there on the website and you guys can get on there and get it. I even have fire polish beads on the website right now. So yeah, but um, I think these turned out so cute. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you like this kind of content and you, um, I do a lot of bead hauls and, um, bead box subscription unboxings and a lot of tutorials too. So, um, consider subscribing and if you will ring the bell down in the, um, the little subscribe button and then ring the bell, then it will tell you when I upload anything new. And I made a mess of my bead mat, didn't I? Um, I have decided there's a lady called Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Uh, she's on YouTube and I love to watch her. And I have just decided that I'm going to name myself Wendy, the messy crafter, because look at me. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> but anyway, um, I am organizing stuff this week. Um, I go back to work on June 1st. So I'm kind of nesting, I think. I was explaining this concept to Landon when he was here. And I said, you know how it is when someone is pregnant and they want to clean and He's like, no, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess you wouldn't, but that's how I feel like I'm nesting. I want to get my craft room all cleaned up and ready. So when I go back to work, everything will be organized and I just know where everything is and I can work easy and I don't know, it's a weird thing, but that's what I'm doing. I'm organizing like crazy today. Um, but I wanted to take time out and do this little tutorial and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and 
oh, I'm going to go get dinner ready and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.